Heck. That solo XPM farm. Yep, I mentioned XS Vampire ro rotating a lot, and also Crits also had phenomenal games where he's been able to rotate a lot, in particular on the Tiny, and already he shows he has the boots. He did walk through Vision, so they will be able to at least know that he was there, but either way, GPK is going to get tossed back. I mean, he's trying to dodge it. He's standing in the creep wave. Yeah, that's the smart move to make, but still it means he's going to tank a lot of damage here for just the right clicks. Just go for the cold snap on crit. Pops a verifier as well, but GPK is panicking. He's trying to get away. The boss is there and they'll kill him off with it. First blood goes. Vampire will actually mess with the pull. Won't allow crit to get it off. So we'll prevent the lane from being moved back. He will get tossed. He's going to eat quite a lot of harassment from the boar. Let's see. A slow, causing issues for Vampire. He's going to try his best to juke around the trees. Ramses will lose the... his courier, so the boots are out. But they die to the creep. They die to the neutrals. Oh, the neutral creep. Does they help? You... I've seen oh. this happen. Sometimes the creeps. They yeah. really. Yeah. By the way, was it just clarity? Well, I want to. Was... Not really traditional. Rush the boots. You got to do you it. You need to just have movement speed to try to get away from that razor as crit's coming in. I mean, he doesn't have mana for Ghostwalk. EPK has moved in pretty deep. He doesn't get hit by any of the procs of the avalanche, but it really doesn't matter. Arpe just soaking up so much damage. He's dead again. A second death in the mid lane for the Invoker. Just as he uses the tornado too. So 30 mana short of actually having Ghostwalk. Very nicely done by Crit, as also Fly finds himself a Courier Snipe. We'll be able to TP out, nothing that FNG does have to hold him back with a point of Thunderstruck. For a well versus Beastmaster, to be expected, especially with the help from XS Vampire. Slark's still farming great down bottom, it's just that Invoker who's really starting to get punished. 17 denies on Abed, no mercy. And immediately, look at Crit, he's just like, he just keeps yeah, wanting him. From GPK, he even has the sentry down, so he sees it, but it's just all too late. There's nothing that GPK could do to get away from this one. It's another kill in the mid lane for EG. See it eventually, but let's see if he does. Because he, he might seem to, something's up. As he, they made a rotation and it wasn't a catch, so yeah, yeah. you have to expect he He knows he's he got to be there. They saw the Wyvern warning his top. Shot Shot slow. He's trying for the TP out. It's not going to work. Crit's got the right click down. Start for Gambit. 5 to 0, that 1k lead for EG, Crip. He's gonna find the toss back, getting FNG right into the into the clutches of Ramses and with the double pause out, FNG doesn't stand a chance at all again. It really just has all been the Crit show so crit. far. Mid lane, Arbet, he's ready to have a bit of a go on his own. Walks GPK down, GPK will be able to get in the Ghost Walk and survive. They're still making it very hard for GPK to show his face in that middle lane. Bottom lane, they'll try and punish Artsy. He has gone forward all on his own, so Gambit should have a good shot at taking down the Naga Siren, and they will. They'll get the kill. So Gambit, Siren in that sense. They, with the, well, the thing is that they also have an Invoker who's Quaswike, so I think with that, they should be able to, but they need to make sure that they keep these levels up. They're gonna try and start a fight. In fact, no, Ramses, he just opens up, turns with a roar, and suddenly this move from Gambit's put to a stop. They've got backup, though. GPK comes in with a Tornado setup. They're looking for the trade kill on Ramses. They'll get it. Snowball save comes in for now, but Vampire will still fall as it's a double kill for Artur. Gambit, having, they're moving down to bottom. See if they can catch anyone else bigger out. Ramses is pretty far out in this bottom lane. He's going to turn with the raw. Dream already got the pounce off, so Dream is away. Song is there. We'll see what they want to do with this EG. Disengage for sure. They're backing off. Yeah, you see you see the two the supports rotate. You can just get out of this. FNG might actually just go down. The couple snowball save. That should do it unless they oh, get the a lucky prop, but no, they got him indeed. Ramses with the ball still out. The ports at the moment on the side of Gambit. That Disruptor could easily just get first down in one combo. Dream's moving out. Does have Shadow Dance and TP available. Ooh. But they've got the song. Uh oh. And he did try for the TP then, so TP cancelled. He's got very little chance of escaping as he has been surrounded. The song catch from Arteezy, enough to buy time for EG to come in. FNG. He's deep at the moment. Maybe able to get the, the wrap around this time, Fly. Should be found out. Now pop down the EMP flight. He's got a cold embrace. But they're gonna stick around, but he has wait, well, he's got backup. The tornado will it kill him off? It won't fly. He's still alive. The tire has been bought for EG to come in. Gambit couldn't even kill a fly off in time. Uh-oh. They're not let's take a look at what items he's gotten as well, too. He's got the Grove, as you know, people keep talking about. You have so many slots for all these neutral items, of course, on Lone Druid. He's got quite a lot of them already. And he's a dream's very far. Dream's in trouble. Crick oh catches him out God. with a blink. Tries to pounce away from Arteezy. Very farm lone trade. Like, do they have 
do they have good ways to deal with him, despite how farmed he is going to be, Shashla? They do have a Link. That's the one big thing. They have the Razor versus it. They also have Arctic Bird, which is quite strong. Is now crit. Hey, he's poking around with a couple of them. In fact, three is GPK is going to turn and have a go on him. They have lost Fly. Dream's able to find the kill nice on his own. And with the block off, Crit's in trouble. He knows there's no way out of this one. He'll try and run, but a Tornado from GPK holds him in place. He'll turn. Avalanche finally he gets the kill, though. He does manage to bring down FNG on the way with him. So much forward but they do get themselves a Vessel Charge, which is the most important thing that they were looking for. Yeah, very nice awareness from Crit that he knows amongst the three of them he can bring someone down with him. Boom, back in the jungle. Ramses has been found, but the backup play is there. EG coming with a song. Crit jumps in on the back line. Quick combo onto GPK. Takes him down to less than half out. RT is he's in. He's looking to get on top of the Invoker. GPK cannot oh, stream. Crit finishes him off. And now with Vampire out of mana, Tusk cannot escape. An attempted pounce is failed by Dream as he cannot get down to the low ground. EG clean up the three of them. He did it to dodge your glimpse. They don't have great ways to kill the illusions with their lineup at all. It Let's looks see. like it should be tough in these next few moments. Gambit. Behind this up, Crip. He's going to look for the jump and he wants to start some action. They will lay down the static stuff on him, but already RTZ is ready to start cleaning up the back lines. Just My finds God. FNG. The roots out onto Vampire. Ramses, he's got the control on Shash. The big one, the king has been farming it the whole map and staying towards the top of the network is in trouble as Shashlow is surrounded. They lose the lone druid hey, inside again. of the base. Crip, he goes up to the high ground, gets the top back on Vampire. The defusal blade slows there as well. They're going to tap out. It's over. 22 oh minutes, GG God. is called, and EG take this game one in the easiest of fashions. And it all started with Crit snowballing the early game. EG, they just... It's turn to pick. Well, we see already EG making those alterations, RTZ heading up to the top. He was trying to be efficient though, RTZ wall going top, he actually pops his illusions and starts jungling one of the small camps, uh, one of the medium camps actually with them. So it's just a lot of lane swaps. He wants to have the matchup. They don't want to have the Tide Earner versus AM. They're just moving around constantly. Look at this, he's, he's still just sitting in the jungle. Tide Earner does not want a lane versus Viper. So now it looks like FNG's kind of transitioning into a core at the start here. And same thing with the tree protector. So our two supports on Gambit are now actually uh, core heroes. As Fly is taking a beating up top, but he will be okay. And seems to be set down by an FNG. He was trying to get oh, the poison no. stacks up on Crit, but ends up walking close enough for Crit to just toss him under the tower. Oh, and look at that line. Air support arrives. How appropriate. Oh. FN Fly also just go, but they just got in their two supports. I mean, that's a. Uh, all right, that's quite a start. Uh, yeah. And mid lane as well. So, Ahmed uh, really is going to have an amazing start. Uh, oh, Crip is going to get the toss back here onto FNG. Tail won't be aggroed onto him though, so FNG can walk away. 507. I'm still. I'm sorry. I'm that's, still like that's a lot. Of someone gold. at home's got to run the numbers on that and explain it. The tree was getting a lot of last yeah. hits, but yeah, 507. I mean, what's, what, how many last hits has he got? I got five. Like five. Right. Anyway. 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 Huh. They're trying now to put the pressure onto RTZ. He will walk into these roots, and he's hurt, especially with a Viper hitting oh. you as well. He's just down. Don't get him, eh? There you go. Bit of fortune for Gambit, making that aggressive play down bottom. I was making sure. Already looking to hunt. He's already looking to just go for these tossback plays, and it should be easy kills if he does find it. And it doesn't feel good having a rough start on Ember. No, definitely not. This Ow. hero has lost, as Shiver and the panel did yep. mention, he's lost the majority of the games here. We see Ramsey's in trouble though. Max stacks the poison attack and Gambit. Do manage to set up a kill for Dream. Dream's in. Gets That's pretty painful. I bet it's just going to have a full freebie here. Which will allow a lot of... I mean, it's going to give a lot of freedom to the supports. Like Crit now gets to pick and choose where he wants to go between the lanes. Yeah, you even see Fly showing his face mid trying to threaten excess vampire. Uh-oh. FNG. He is beating on Ramsey's, but the support is coming in. Yeah, there's backup. Crip steps forward, Avalanche there onto the two of them, FNG will get slapped down, Dream's going to try and fight back, he's going to have to blink away. He's got the, oh, the toss the forward, toss forward. Close the, the gaps to get the vision for the glimpse, so they get the glimpse back, but he got Ooh. the spell shield off in time, he takes the point in it, and is able to reflect the glimpse that Dream does not get dragged back. Very smart heads and play there from the AM. Fly got glimpsed into a bounty rune though, he's probably like, oh, alright, well, <laughs> could have been worse. As Dream the, doesn't... He doesn't have mana yet. He doesn't have mana, he does now. He's going short. Oh, 
And see, he's, he's dead. He's dead anyway. The Thunderstrike ends up finishing him off. And now Crit's here again. And FNG. He's got to be careful. The two of them are right clicking him down. An extra TP will be coming in from Excess Vampire, but another Thunderstrike on FNG means that Fly gets the double kill. He'll finally fall. But Fly getting the work done in that lane, despite that. On a Shadow Beam level 6, he's already pressured in the tower with the first Catapult wave. GPK will come toward mid. He's level 5. These raises hurt. He actually uses his slight as well here, so he's a little susceptible to get tossed back. I mean, he's a little dead. Indeed. He is gone. I mean, he's got to go back FNG to the jungle. FNG also has to be careful. He's trying his best to, to sack up the poison on Arbed, but Crip posturing offensively, making sure that the FNG doesn't commit too heavily on Arbed. Game Gambit still able to find the farm. Yeah. And the two, the two carries are getting shut down. Arteezy's getting followed around by Excess yeah. Vampire this game. Every single time he shows in a lane, the tree comes to start beating on him, beating on him a lot. But Dream is also feeling that pressure from the similar rotations. It is. I mean, just, you know, Fly just walking up, laying down his thunder strikes. It causes issues. FNG's going to be here with Excess Vampire. Maybe they can go on RTZ, but the two supports from EGR here. Crit comes in with a two man avalanche, tosses him over. Vampire's dead. The thunder strike on FNG will take him down as well. Crit again, just Darkseer. If we actually do ever get to the point of the later stages with him, is if he gets an Agonims and you have a Centaur creep, they actually match the cooldown. Centaur stun has a 12 second cooldown. Your vacuum has a 12 second cooldown too. We will hopefully get to see something like that play out. A dream. Ace Glimpse back into the combo, they get the toss forward on the creep, won't be enough to kill and Dream will live, they'll turn, try for crit, Vampire hit six, he's got the overgrowth, holy crit six. Blitz. crit will be punched down, Vampire trying to pick up the pace and take down more as he'll chase down Arteezy, Thunderstrike on Vampire, Arteezy trying his best with the dupes, but FNG, Dream and a Vampire, they're all hunting for him, jump forward from Dream, they've found Arteezy as Arteezy cannot escape, he's trapped him by the grass, Gambit strike back and take down the carry. Getting themselves Dream getting that last hit as well. Much needed for him. It's been slowed down a little bit oh, here. As toss forward. Ravage. Into the Ravage. For the Avalanche, he cannot surge away. They'll get the burst play on Shashlo. Last game. Lots of rotations coming down. We have outposts. It's that 10 minute time. Gambit, certainly wanting to fight. Red's going to get the toss back straight oh. into the Requiem. That's the combo. Arbed blows up Vampire. It's a big hero to lose. They rely on Vampire's overgrowth a lot to try and take earlier fights. But now he's gone. Shashlo's trapped in by the kinetic field. EG clean up the two kills. Outpost will be one for one. But Gambit are still able to take their own up top. But EG getting an outpost and two kills on top of it. No mercy. One they have to be very wary of. He's that setup. Any toss back pretty much secures a kill. And Dream knows. He's out of the lane. FNG. Looking to try to go for Ramses here. He's got a couple poison attacks built up. Stab you ulti now on. Do wear off. Ramses. He's uh -oh. gonna pop the Ravage. Flies there with the follow-up. The static so it traps the two of them. There's no oh escape for the AM fly. God. Just He's... picks up the double kill. I mean, Fly, he's 6 1 and 3 this game. He said, you know, our last game was the Crit Show. Now it's my turn to take the spotlight. Vampire wants to try to go for him here, but now Fly, he's got a glimpse. They've got the control. He's into the field. The combo's there from Crit. It's going to be another one. Let Give it Fly, a fly. have it. 7 1 and Comet. Uh -oh. TPs are coming in. Can EG turn this up? And he's getting in position. He's level 12. He's got the two points in Red Grim. There's the fear. Into the combo for Crit Avalanche. They're going to get the both of them again. Perfect execution from EG. And they do it in the way that it's not risky, right? They don't do it in where you're standing on top of them for the record. Flies he does not it for done. the fear. And he's got fight for set up for another. FNG dragged back by the glimpse. Oh my god. They're if you want to make some type of those aggressive plays, Ion Shell the GPK so that you can at least do that, you know, the build that the panel was talking about. So you just get that flame guard, you get the Ion Shell, and you can be super aggressive. FNG, he wants to head in for the bounty rune. He'll get the he rune get at it. least. He will get it. Now we got. Nothing that Gambit can do to slow down this push. They just popped the drum even. Oh, and oh and Eric's gonna get he's gonna the ground, straight into the trees, into the gush, he gets blown up, vampire's dead. Next one on the docket, they're gonna use the song. It's in range, it does it catch is, him. It is gonna get them. They've and got the static storm follow-up. There is no escape for the Ember. Relentless plays from EG. KB finish. Pre-17 minute. BKB, drums, dreads, you know, hey, heck, he's got the, the beautiful uh, oh. iron with on his top as well. Crit, he spots FNG with Arteezy there. It's an easy one. One and eight on FNG now in this game. Now they're just not. Now they're just not able to make any move. And Shashlo, he's trying to cut some waves to find something here. But now he's stopped. He's Anytime found. anybody shows, they just die. This is. 
Ooh. He wants more. He's found another FNG catch. again. Fenji trying his best with the Ooh. Dukes. So he's making him work for a crit, but crit will still be able to find the toss. Couple of right clicks and a raise should do it. And it will. Arbed just this continuing to eight fights at all versus the side of EG. They won't have the damage, they won't have the control, and it's into an Aegis as well. And there's a Naga Siren who's farming super well. This Naga has doubled the net worth almost as anti mage. And they'll find another one. They'll get another. Arbed unstoppable as the. They even pop the glyph aggressively during the opposing glyph, preventing Dream from also farming in Dream. Crit is already looking to set up on him up top. Oh, Dream, he blinks. He, d he blinks in for the creeps. He's gonna get tossed back and netted. A little bit of greed there from Dream, and it'll cost him his life yet again. And down bottom, the slaughter just is not ending as Shaxo falls up and puts the BKB. The Red Cream will knock him back. Trying they to keep the teammates safe, they do lose Ramsey. Okay, they Gambit able to find something, maybe they can try and poke it up it whilst the BKB wears off GPK. He's got the root, the poison's starting to stack up on Arbed. Is there any help for the SF? This will be a huge kill for Gambit if they find it the slight. The poison, the toxin, they'll, they'll pop him the once. They won't be able to do it a second time though, but that is at least the Aegis knocked out of the game. It's at least something. They need a, something happening for themselves as their anti-mage gets picked off again and again and again and he's still about 900 gold from the battle so he even has a chance to recover as FNG just gets picked off by Arteezy. I, I, I mean, this is it. just such fat. See if he can get him from the high ground. Depends where Dream heads. Dream is going to walk this way, but GPK is with him. He goes for the net, but Dream they see the they turn. Song's going to be there. There is a ward on that high ground. See, it's easy head over to help out Fly. Viper Strike onto the Disruptor, won't kill Fly off. Fly will live, Arbed, he's charging in. Wants to make a go here, 10 seconds and Requiem will be back up. Chris gonna look for the toss play on XS Vampire, comes in, back into the hands of Arbed. He'll pop the overgrowth, there's the vacuum wall down onto the two of them. Arbed and Crit being focused, but they don't care. They'll turn, take the life of Tree. Gambit, and they get Arbed, he is low. GPK's trying to have a poke, the BKB's out. Arbed a little spooked. As he should be. He did have his own illusion as well hitting him. That is a, I don't know, a very long time in order to be able to get uh, caught up. Because this is one of the latest battle theories we've seen in a very long time. Yeah, anytime Dream shows his face, if Artiz is around, the damage and control will be there. Fly with that full Yule's gonna have the setup. He's gonna try for the TP out, but crits in with the blink. Plays around with Dream. Dream pops the spell shield. That's not gonna help him as he's tossed over to Arbed. Arbed lands the crit. Right clicks in. I, just, I cannot believe how it's 30 to 6, 14k lead. They're just giving them no space at all to farm. Shashlo. Every time someone shows in a lane. Over the TP, he's not getting out. They die. FNG's dead, Shashlo's dead. They're just calling it, they're done it really, It's over, game two, it's done and dusted. The series is complete wow. as EG, they'll take the win, two to zero, and Gambit, they just didn't get to play Dota today. EG did, that's for sure, they got to play.